Good morning and welcome to my Merrimack Valley home. Um, Saturday, uh, it's my birthday and um, we're going to be doing some things in a little bit. We're going to go back to where my homestead is out in Cherryville, Missouri, but um, I kind of wanted to Excuse me, I'm going down some stairs here. Uh, just kind of wanted to show you a few things in reference to our greenhouse um, and my cold frame. So with that being said, um, uh, we're going to... That squirrel is just... He's just really aggravating. Mr. Grayson down here. He's he's really <laughs> he's really upset. So that is it for today. Um, I uh, have uh, to go back in and finish getting ready. My daughter, granddaughter, will be here soon. We will be heading out to. Um, Cherryville, Stillville area, um, uh, doing, that's what I wanted to do today for my birthday. I wanted to kind of go back home and, and, um, visit with my sister if she's home and, uh, also, uh, uh, go through some of the antique shops and just make a day of it and, um, I'll be taking some videos from there as well today. So, hey, yay, we're Saturday and um, thankful to be alive. God has given me another day. Talk to y'all soon. Have a great Saturday. Okay, well, here we are, and I've got... That is Tatsoi in there. I gotta get in there and pull some of them leaves out from when I had it open uh, earlier this week. But that is Tatsoi. And then on this side, let me get it all open here. That is, um, I'll tell you what, I forgot the name of that. Let's see. Mizuma, and it's all growing so nicely. Let's look at that. And all the tatsoi. All right, well, we're gonna. <laughs> Let's take a look here and actually see the tatsoi. Here it is. Lots of tatsoi. Need to look it up. It's it's a I believe a Japanese species of what would be like kale or spinach or even a lettuce, but it's in those families. And it's growing really good. And over there, I've got Mizuma, which is another Japanese variety. And they're supposed to be oh so good for you. But that's what's in my greenhouse. Just close that up because that's going to be cold today. All right, so now we're going to go in the greenhouse. Oh my goodness. 
goodness, the neighbor's dogs. Well, here's my greenhouse. Still not totally finished, but um, we're getting to a point where we can only do so much on it. Um, I bought those containers at Target the other day for $18 a piece, and um, I'm going to buy some more dirt here, which I, I've already ordered the dirt, but they're deep, and I can put my dirt in there, and uh, plant my seeds in there, and then cover them up, and it will be like a dome to the, to the, um, to the plastic container, and then once, you know, the seeds start growing up, then I can take the lids off, but it's right now at 49 degrees it's staying about 60 degrees in here and we've got about oh just right about 60 percent humidity in here which is probably pretty good but i've got greens down there i've got my um not greens but my uh, herbs there's my lemon balm and i've got my russian basil and I got sage over there and some other basil and um that's all looking pretty good these are my house plants which those are gonna go in here soon my husband we bought a table that's unfinished that I really needed to put some of my house plants on and uh he's going to be finishing that today so I can make use of that, bring my house plants in and put them on that, that table by the window in my living room. And then that there is my lemon tree, which it has not produced yet. It's only, this is only its second year, but it's doing really well. And then I got a couple other little small plants here that uh, I'm going to try to overwinter. And we just keep the heat going in here. Um, I've got another heater in case we need one. I do have um, this heat lamp up here as well. As you can see, <laughs> not such a pretty day out, but it's a fall day. lids back down and then I've got some succulents over there that actually need to come in as well but other than that um, this is kind of where I'm at with all this uh, hasn't moved along very much but it you know it does uh, it will serve the purpose and then come spring we'll we'll definitely be doing more to it so at any rate we're gonna head back out of here I'll have to put a rock up against it just to make sure the door doesn't fly open and we got a lot of cleanup to do uh, in this construction. <laughs> it's an ongoing thing. But as long as we have, when we get some nice days, we'll definitely uh, be able to do, eventually get uh, rid of some of this stuff. But that is what's happening right now. And, uh, so I'm going to go in and uh, we've got to run to uh, another town here um, and then i got to come back and do some other things. 
So, um, all right, so I have these two here, the spinach and the radicchio from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds in Mansfield, Missouri. And here is my container. And here is my box of dirt. So we're just going to pour some dirt in here and do some planting. And then it's going to go in the greenhouse. Okay, so I'm just going to do some planting here and here. I've got holes in the bottom of the container. My husband just drilled in there. And I've got some potting soil. Now, I'm not going to put too many seeds in there at one time because we want to give them some space to grow. But that's what we're going to do, and then they're going to go back into the greenhouse. Okay, so I've got my seeds here. My spinach. My radicchio. We're just going to open them up. I'm sorry, my neighbor is cutting their grass right now. So, bear with me. I'm not going to put too many of these seeds in at one time, but we are going to just kind of lie and sprinkle them here and there. those back in there. Now we're going to do our radicchio, which is so we're not going to plant too much of it. Now those are those seeds. This is radicchio seeds. So I've got my radicchio seeds in here. And here again, we're just going to tap them down. Get over here to this side. Tap them down. And then we're going to give it a little bit of water.
wait to see what it's like. All right, so I think we've got it here. I'll take us into the greenhouse. And I'm going to set us up. All right, so I'm going to go out here and get my containers and pull them in. one. Now I'm going to go get the other one. little bit heavy. <laughs> okay. Now, I did not get the clear ones, but I think it'll still work. Should get enough light. Should get enough light from the side. I thought they were clear when I bought them, but obviously not. However, it will. It will serve the purpose for now and it still is going to get light although it's kind of getting later in the day and the sunlight is waning a little bit but we'll see how it goes and I'll keep you up on the progress um, I know that uh, it's going to get down into the upper 30s tonight, so it'll be a little bit colder than it has been here in Missouri, but I've got my heat, I've got my heat lamp over there. Um, I think, I think that should do it. So, I guess I'm going to go back in the house. I'm going to take my succulent plant over there, take it in the house, and uh, put it on my table where I've got a few other uh, plants. And then we're going to see how, over the next week, how these seeds progress. It's supposed to be um, the spinach will germinate in about five to seven days same for the radicchio so hopefully by next weekend we'll see some some greens popping up there once they start popping up out of the ground 
then we can just take the container lids off and just uh, leave them. And like I said, I've got another heater in the house. If I need to, I will bring it out here. But I'm going to make this work. And um, such a pretty day. Oops, excuse me. Such a pretty day. Uh, just love it. Well, you guys have a great day. And uh, I'll talk to you from the Merrimack Valley in a few.